I am peace. I am happiness. I am the sunshine. I am, when you wake up in the morning, I am just that full glass of orange juice that gets you through the day. I am B12 on steroids. Yes. My upbringing was a strict Southern Baptist upbringing. Thou shalt not do anything. You know, um, speak when you're spoken to. Didn't matter if you were hungry, you know, could eat for like four days. If somebody asked you or offered you something, you said, no, thank you. Back then, people of color, I was always told you only wore four colors, burgundy, navy, black, and brown. You did not wear orange, you did not wear yellow or anything like that. My color was orange. I loved orange. For me, being this person that just saw color and coming up just after the hippie movement, I, it just spoke to me, all of these colors that moved, and I wanted to embrace that and embody that. My, my mom and my dad didn't understand those colors. They all thought it was like induced by drugs. Ne me laisse pas l'aimer Pourtant c'est lui que tu veux Ne me laisse pas l'aimer Et tu m'oublies peu à peu Ne me laisse pas l'aimer Je sais qu'un jour viendra Tu tomberas dans ses bras Ne me laisse pas l'aimer They started to know then that I was a little different in the way that I would do things. Color, um, my excitement, the way that I would dance. Um, me coming up with different things, just making something out of nothing. I always wanted to learn how to roller skate and I never did. Every year, I said for my New Year's resolution, I was gonna learn how to roller skate. Finally, I looked up a place and I found this man who said he could teach roller skating. It's like being on a freeway and you're moving and you hear the music and you're just going, you know? And somebody says, okay, fourth lane is open, third lane is open, you know? And then you put your hand out, push the other people away and you're going and it's like, Okay, I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm looking around. Okay, I'm taking this, I'm taking a zoom, getting inside. It's, it's like being on a freeway because you're moving and the music is pushing you and you could just do whatever you wanna do. It's a flow. And you're flowing with a lot of other people that are flowing at the same time. I could always hula hoop, but I never thought about hooping to music. So that whole kind of flow, you know, letting your, your spirit dance and the body goes along for the ride. And it's such a great feeling, especially when you hear the music and you know, and you start like doing stuff on the train and people are like, what's she doing? Oh, I'm skating, you know, and you start hooping and people are like, okay, I think she has Tourette's. No, I'm hooping in place and I'm doing hoop moves. You're just reacting to what's happening. So whether the hoop is going up, down, you're taking it off, you're doing isolations, or you're just standing and you're embracing your hoop, it's a personal relationship. I like to think of my hoop as my dance partner.
I'm a big parade person. I do parades like at least maybe four or five times a year. And my costumes are amazing, you know, if I do say so myself. I don't know if I could say this, but I think the best was my condom costume. I ordered 500 condoms and I made a flapper dress. I went as Condom Lisa Nice. I wanted a friend of mine to go as Condom Minium, but he chickened out at the last minute. I just believe for what I feel and the things that I do, I want that to be shared with someone else. Sometimes I come out and it's like, you know, if no one else is on that same energy level as me, I've got to get them there. And if I can't skate, then I'm going to push someone else to do so, so that I can do it vicariously through that person. I'm going to have them hula hoop, paint, crochet, sew, costume, anything. Make something, create something, do something, make someone laugh, but at least as they're doing it because that person is an extension of me, then I'm still doing it through them. If I was you, I'd wanna be me too. I'd wanna be me too. <laughs> yes. All right, you sit there because I have to go skate now. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. <laughs> okay. She belongs in an insane asylum. <laughs> like, okay, and what hospital did you <laughs> steal her from? Yeah. What hospital is she from?